Hello everyone, and welcome to a new game. Uh, we're playing, uh, as you can see, Cart Mechanic Simulator. Yay! Um, yeah. Simple as that. Enter profile name. So it's whole center, so that's why I'm going to enter. Alright, let's jump right in. I have... I have both the DLCs, so the Dodge and the Mazda. So this should be fun. Um, to get a few things over the way, out of the way, I'm getting over a cold right now, and I've been on, gone into hiding for a little while because of life and stuff. Um, yeah, we'll try the music and we'll see if I get copyright strikes. So, I'm not going to bother with any of this stuff. You all have seen this. No oil. Alright, we'll do that then. Uh, this is just the tutorial, so we got to just go out on a test drive and do all that fun stuff. I have played this game. I have about 10 hours locked in Steam, so I am a little bit familiar with part of the storyline. Um... That being said, I am not a mechanic in real life, although I do enjoy working on cars. So, uh, I am familiar with the basic principles. Suck, squeeze, bang, boom. That was a little bit repetitive, but you get the gist. Alright, let's go. I said this already. I'm getting over a cold right now, so you're going to have to uh, bear with me. Alright. Let's uh, take a couple orders. What do we have? Brake problems? Alright. Oh my god. I wish we could repaint cars right now, because that makes me cringe. Alright, so we got that one. What's this one? A year and a half ago, my son and I bought this car. I bought my son this car. So he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and the tires. So the blue ones, I don't know if you noticed that. That is going to be a story order. This one actually lists the parts. Most of them don't. Um, so that will help us progress. And you can see... Where was it? Right down here it will say story order. Alright, so let's get this one up. We're going to check the brakes. So, vented brake disc, that's going to be in the front. Uh, pads, caliper, and a disc. So, let's get this up and take a look see. Got to get the wheels off. This one already looks like it's going to be a problem, child. It's going to. Yeah, that. There you go. So, let's start ripping this apart. Caliper comes off first. 4%. How was he stopping? Alright, so let's get the pads and the vented disc. Come over to our computer. Vented disc, the pads. So we need, we need a caliper too. We'll get the that's not what I want. Where is it? Caliper cylinder. That doesn't have to be replaced, but we'll do it anyway. If we're gonna put brand new stuff on, just do everything. So put the vented disc back on. Put the old pads back on, because those were okay. And we got a Alright, 
a seat, you have a seat in your caliper. Alright, there you go, that's the bulk of the work. about this side? I don't remember. You can usually see right in here the brake pads. Those are okay, so it's not going to be this wheel. It's, no, it's not this one either. Alright, so that only leaves one other culprit. You. Bingo! So brake disc and brake pads. Wheel off. Alright, again, we'll take the caliper off first. I actually have yet to do brakes on my own car, surprisingly enough. Even the brake pads I have yet to do. So we need a brake, we don't have the tablet yet. Brake disc and brake pads. Where are we? Brake disc. Pads. This is what a bulk of the beginning of the game is going to be, so it just seems really tedious. Just, yeah. I'll be suffering right along with you. Alright. <coughs> Alright, put the wheel back on because that's kind of important. And then we can put the car back down and send her away. 427 dollars. Two brakes, jeez. Where are we? Car lifter A. Let's see, do we have any more orders? Yes, we do. Yeah, see, brake problems, brake problems. So it may also list here if there's a bonus for the jobs. This one in this case is a money bonus. So we're going to take that order. An engine. Good. Alright, so what do we need with this one? I think tires. Can't look at it while it's lifting. Alright, so tires and fuel a couple filters, we can do that. So let's start with that. One of the few gripes I have with this game, you have to take off all the clips for the air filter cover by hand. be quite frustrating. And that air filter is shot. Completely shot. Not filtering air at all. Let's get a new one. Also, we needed a fuel filter. I think that's a standard. At least in this case. It's not a standard in real life. Yeah, fuel filter. I'm pretty sure I needed that. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, so on the air intake, go back into the part mount, and let's start getting the new stuff in. I hope everyone's day has. Where's the fuel? It's gone well. I've been uh, back in school for a week already, so that's been quite fun. Don't know about you guys. Alright, that's done. Let's do tires. So we got to get these off so we get the size. And all four are going to have to get done, so we're going to just do it out. Out. 
I don't think there's a specific way you have to take them off lug nuts. I know you have to put them on in a star pattern. I didn't know if there was a way to, uh... What am I thinking? Oh, take them off. Darn. Alright, so let's get these tires separated. This is actually a thing now. You have to do this for everything. Or for all the tires you mount. If you're putting new tires onto a new rim, or on an old rim. If you're buying new rims and tires, you can just mount the old ones and balance them and you're on your way. But you gotta take these off first. And you actually have to balance them now too. Gasp. one here. Alright, and we cannot just go in and buy a tire willy-nilly. There's actually a science to this. So as you can see here, this is standard tire B, 205, 55 hours, 16. What is this gibberish that you speak of, Ethan? Well, 205 is going to be your tire width, so that's going to be, this is a bad example, but for like, from this side of the tire here, the front side, over to the back side of the picture. Your 55, that's going to be the size from the rim out, so in this case, I don't remember exactly what that's measured in, um, but it's a unit of measurements nonetheless, it's going to dictate, is the tire low profile or high profile. Uh, the 16 just basically denotes the rim size, so in this case, they're 16 inch tires. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. It's not, it's not as complicated as it looks, actually. What gets complicated is, uh, it doesn't matter in this game, but in real life, you have tires that are like rated for different speeds or, uh, what am I saying? Different speeds or different load ratings. They were 205s, right? Uh, you have tires that are rated for like different speeds or load ratings, or, you know, that kind of stuff. Which, that really isn't too complicated either, I mean, either just get the one that your manufacturer put on first, even though it won't be that good, or just do some digging, find a decent tire for your car. Uh, I've always gotten mine through Tire Rack, and they've been awesome about it. I have a distribution center, all of five minutes from my house, so I can just go over there, pick them up, and then bring them to a shop to get them installed, so that is quite lovely. Alright, let's... No, I don't need to separate them, thank you very much. I'd like to install them. This one off, and that's the next one. This little icon down here on the bottom, the tire with weights, that's some, that just symbolizes that the tire has yet to be balanced, and if it's not balanced, it's not even going to give you an option to put it on the car. This one off, and I think we have one more, yes. While we're doing that, let's go get these back on. You get used to how weird stuff can be in this game. The cursor is one of them sometimes. Let's take and balance this last. Oh, we got two left to balance, okay. In the meantime, let's get this one on. Tires are one thing that I have not done myself, partly because the equipment is thousands and thousands of dollars. It was better just to go to a shop and say, here, put them on, and 60 bucks later, voila, they're on. Alright. And after this, it's just a simple oil change, and we're on our way. Nothing too, too special. Let's get this last tire.
Alright, uh, let's get the car lifted up so we can get the oil drained. Alright, now there is a science to this. You can't just pull the drain plug in and let the oil drip out to your floor drain there. We need to come over here and grab our oil drain. Otherwise, you're going to be charged $100 for draining oil. Uh, we just got to use the equipment and ta-da. And uh, fun fact, unless it's listed, I don't think it is, you don't have to change the oil filter, which goes against everything I know. Um, no, sorry. I hope down the road they make that a thing. When they tell you change oil, change the oil filter too, regardless of the condition. Because that's how you're supposed to do it. But it's just a game, so what do I know? I'm not a mechanic, I don't have an ASE certification. A wait, is that the right... Whatever they're certified for, I think it's ASE. I don't remember for a second, whatever. Anyway, this is done. We're getting 1600 bucks. Finish order. And they'll go off into the environment, and we'll probably see them again later. Alright. Brake problems. Fun stuff. Let's move it back onto the lifter, and we're going to get the car up. In the meantime, let's get our next order. Brake system needs fixing. Uh, which one do we want? They really take this one. I don't know. The M3s are nice. This is your uh, knockoff Audi here. Oh, that's a little bit of an issue. Alright, so it looks like that's going to get replaced when we do get to that job. I like that color. Maybe that's just me. Alright, so let's get this one up. We're going to start going around and seeing what is up. I hate it how it does that. You can't look at the car status while it's being lifted. Alright, so two ventilated discs. Those are going to be in the front. Caliper and pads, those could be anywhere. Alright, so let's take a look-see. There's our bad caliper. That was easy. And then the pads going to be back here. The pads are going to be in the front. So let's go over and we'll buy our parts. I really need to explain much for this. You guys have seen it already. Let's go back to the home page. If you keep hearing a little click, that's me turning my mic off so I can cough. Why am I making a YouTube video when I'm sick? God only knows. wheel off. Yeah, that brake disc looks dead. Oh, no, I don't need an oil pan, thank you very much. We're gonna shimmy our way back over. There's our bad brake pads, awesome. Let's get those back on. To use the old caliper cylinder. Oh, well. Whoops. A wheel would be kind of important, don't you think? Alright, that side's done. On to the next one. Why did I do that? off. Brake pads are okay. I think that we only had to do one set of pads, right? Is it one or two? I don't remember. Uh, okay, that's great. I don't want that one either. use the old parts please thank you 
88%. That's in good shape. Put the rim back on. This music is actually not that bad. Car mechanic simulator, I will not complain. Alright, so this side looks okay, so I think we just had the caliper left there. Yep, brake caliper. Cool. That's easy, we already know where that is. back on and then it should be good to go. Bring it down. Yep, there's an engine there, good. And we can be done. 500 bucks to do brakes, jeez. Alright, let's get this one over with and then we are going to call it a day. So let's get it up and then we're going to take a look at the list and see what is what. ABS module, like we saw under the hood there. Brake disc and brake caliper. Alright. So let's get this ABS module off. Just a few simple bolts. You don't need ABS. It's overrated. And then figure out where our bad parts are. I think this is it right here. There's our bad disc, and we can see over there the bad caliper. So let's get an ABS module, a brake disc, and a brake caliper. use a caliper cylinder that we have lying around. So we said it was back here. Alright. Oop. Come back. Where are you? There you go. So the rest of the brake system is 100%, yet these parts are dead already. How is that possible? It doesn't really matter what one we use. This looks like a fairly brand new car, too. And there's already brake problems. Interesting. Caliper on. Yeah, I got a lot of those caliper cylinders lying around. I'll go through when we're done and sell off a few parts that we don't need. That's done, so left all that's left is the ABS module. Which goes right here. One, two, three, four, five, and that's number six. All right. Let's drop her down. And that should be everything. The way she goes. All right, guys. I think that is going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game so far. Uh, the next one, we're going to take on a few more orders. We have another 
uh, story order here. I read in the newspaper that the timing should be replaced more frequently than recommended by the manufacturer. The oil too. Check them and change them out, whatever is needed. So that will be in the next video. That one's a fun one. You get to rip apart the engine a little bit more. So, with that said, I will see you guys later. And have a good rest of your week.